Because I was going to go buy my house, you know, and I wanted to go to the government so bad. But my father died. Yes, man. Yes. That will wall you off.
I went to ask it then. I go there and right away they, they ask me to me they tell me they give me some stuff to drink. I tell me they get a scan. I couldn't swallow everything. I just nasty the whole place again. So they said, listen, I know they put me in another machine. I don't even know what they do because I tell you, my eyes basically closed at all the time. So I'm just saying, I'm a dead man. You know, everybody crying, even myself. <laughs> so anyway, I'm there and they told me that. You know, they told me that this is going to be a lot of emergency surgery. The only thing I could do is not my head, you know? My wife, my cousins, and everybody, my mom on the phone, everybody. You know, so they give me the surgery. You know, I wake up back, I think, the Thursday or the Friday, I don't even know which day. And I woke up. But if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't yes. be standing Amen. That. Come so on. I woke up. Because once they put you to sleep, I remember when the guy said to me, Sir, you got to breathe. And I remember I called the food, but I don't reach you. And I fall asleep. I think when I... When I wake up, I feel my whole stomach was taped up. And I try to get up and the nurse said, No, you can't move. So I just lay back. And, you know, the whole idea is that, you know, going through all of that, I... You know, you fall asleep and you're going to surgery. Basically, you're dead. But, yes. You know, you're just God keeping you alive. Amen. Come on, no. And I believe that God has a purpose for me. Come on. Oh, yes. Come on, no. Because if he never had a purpose for me, I would have been dead long time. Talk truth. Long time. Hallelujah. But I'm not a saint. I'm not going to tell anybody I'm perfect. I do wrong, but God always, I always ask God, I say, God, what is my purpose? Come on, right. I always ask him, what is my purpose? But, you know, I always come up to one answer. And God put me here to help others. Come on. Because that's the only thing I know. That's your purpose. <laughs> So I oh my God. Sometimes I even say, she had to too much, man. She had to everything. You know, I mean, I tell God, but even if I don't say that I see somebody in need, I need help. I'm like, come. So that is my purpose to help people. I don't care what situation you're in. I will come off my bed and give you my bed to sleep. I just want to know that you are safe. You know? And. Sometimes, you know, I question God about it because sometimes I have to go through a situation and they get uncomfortable. But mm. if you don't go through situations, you're not going to get any stronger. True, come on. True. You know, situation that you go through in life, that's what builds you. Yes. You know, whether you're in prison, whether you're in the world, you know, whatever you do, whatever situation you do, God puts you in that situation for a reason. True. Because he always, he knows he's not going to give you more than you can give. Yes. So I thank God for me to be here tonight and tell you guys that you know, God is a miracle work. He's, yes. he's, a, he's a, God is my everything. Yes. God is our everything. He oh, yes. Hallelujah. He's still here. No matter how you down or how you feel bad, and you call him Jesus, he always answers. You know, he, he may be not come when you want him to come, but he's always on time. So God is an on time, God. So that's what I'm here tonight, I'm telling you. The reason why he may know when we go on the road tonight or do anything is because God wants me to be here. Tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you guys to keep praying for me while I pray for myself. Come on. Big up, Jesus.